talking about NCAA basketball. Y'all know I love college basketball. So, NCAA basketball, the parody is insane. I saw a stat yesterday on TV that was absolutely incredible. This year, the top 10 teams in college basketball against unranked opponents are 34 and 34. Let me repeat that. The top the teams that are ranked in the top 10 this year are playing against unranked teams. They're 34 and 34 record. It is absolutely insane. And yes, away games are killing them. Nobody can win on the road. I mean, you look at a team like Kansas. Kansas has lost five games in the Big 12 already. They can't buy a road game. The only road game that Kansas has won in the Big 12. Now, don't get me wrong. The Big 12 is easily the best conference in the country. But the only road game that they've won is against Oklahoma State, who's awful. They lost at West Virginia. They lost at UCF. Kansas State got their brains beat in just on Monday against Texas Tech. They can't beat anybody on the road. And that's Kansas. We just saw it last night. North Carolina can't win at a mediocre Syracuse. It, it Now, here's the thing. I love it. I absolutely love it. Is Because college basketball, anybody can win. That's why I love it more than college football. Because in college football, the same six or seven teams always win. And six or seven is a stretch. It's usually three to five. In college basketball, anybody can win. Anybody can win. I mean, what did we see last year in the NCAA tournament? San Diego State, uh, Florida Atlantic, UConn ended up winning it. I mean, we had all these teams. I'm like, yeah, I like that. And I don't care that the ratings were bad. I watched. I watched all of it. And people, oh, nobody's going to watch the rating. We want to see the Blue Bloods. Nah, man, I want to see good competitive college basketball. That's what I want to see. And if the different teams happen to show up and win, then different teams happen to show up and win. I don't care. I love it. Yes, a team will come out of nowhere and win it all, says my West Virginia fan over here on TikTok. You're exactly right. You're exactly right. I love it. And that's why, and and don't get me wrong, I love college football. I love college football. But the NCAA tournament, outside of the NFL playoffs, is there anything better? I mean, seriously, is there anything better? And we're going to start talking more and more about college basketball now that we're in the middle of February. Valentine's Day. Don't forget to send your wife flowers or your girlfriend flowers. Please do that. Your significant other. Make sure you send them some flowers and some some chocolates. Or you could be like me, your boy Big B. I sent mine a day early. Mine got here yesterday just to let my wife know I mean business. You know what I'm saying? 20 years of marriage, you got to think, people. You got to think. Think outside the box. And all that does, oh, man, he's really thoughtful. He's thinking about it. He wanted to send me before all the hoopla. He sent me flowers early. When in actuality, what it really was, they couldn't deliver. I waited too late for the delivery place, and they couldn't deliver it today, so they had to deliver it yesterday. She doesn't know that, though. She doesn't know that. So, but yeah, man, college basketball. I love college basketball. I love the parody. I I love the fact that... All these blue bloods are struggling on the road and struggling against just anybody when they go on the road. I I think that's great for the game. I, I don't think some people think it's bad for the game. I think it's great for the game. I think it is absolutely great for college basketball. So it is just a a good thing. My man Pat Cockrell, as a K-State fan, how did you enjoy? That ass-whooping the Red Raiders gave the Jayhawks on Monday. I mean, 
I went to K-State. I love K-State, but I'm not, I wasn't, I didn't grow up being a K-State fan. So the hatred for KU, it it's deep. Don't get me wrong, but it doesn't, it's not crazy. So I didn't get that excited. Not to mention, I didn't think KU was going to win the game. So I didn't think KU was going to beat Texas Tech. You know, I've got a show that I do uh, on Go Power Cat on YouTube. It's called the Big 12 Insiders. Matter of fact, go check that out at 1 p.m. today. It's on YouTube. Go check it out. And we had to do a show. I bring in people from all over the conference, and we talked to Texas Tech guy was telling me about how some guys were hurt, guys were sick. They went on a three-game losing streak. Now they're back healthy, and here we go. So Indiana State is ranked. They're not going to be ranked long because they got their brains beat in at home last night. So Indiana State is about to be unranked. So South Carolina, this is why you know that the voters are finicky. How long did it take them to rank South Carolina? I mean... And they didn't just go from, they went from unranked to 15. And then the next thing you know, now they're 11. I'm like, well, what did you all miss? Were you just not paying attention to who South Carolina was beating? I mean, it took them forever. I mean, they weren't ranked forever. They got ranked two weeks ago. Yeah, South Carolina was ignored. I'm like, what are, what are we doing here? So, it was insane. It was insane. But I like South Carolina's got a good basketball team. They got a good basketball team. So, yeah, the women's the women's South Carolina team is really good, too. They're really good, too. And the difference between this team and last year's team, as far as the women are South Carolina, they got some shooters out there. Last year, they didn't have really any shooters, and it cost them. They got that this year. I'm not sure anybody's going to beat them. I'm not sure anybody's going to beat them. And we'll get into a different conversation about this later on, you know, down the road once the tournament gets here. But I'll just bring this up real quick. Have y'all noticed that co women's college basketball gets way more pub, more people pay attention than they do the WNBA? Have y'all ever noticed that? Because I have. Because I will watch a women's college basketball game. I will. And I won't watch a WNBA game. That's just me. Why is that? I don't know. Somebody's going to have to explain why I'll do that. But I won't watch a WNBA game. I just won't. But I will actually watch a women's college basketball game. It's crazy. I know. It's not as good as basketball. I know. But. That's just me. That's the same reason why I'll watch college basketball. And when it comes to an NBA game, depending on who's playing, yeah, I'll watch it, but it's got to, it depends on who's playing. But I'll watch a lot of college basketball, man. I will watch a lot of it. My man David Gonzalez talking about college basketball. There's a built-in audience for college sports, college students and alumni, but not for professional sports. Those leagues have to earn an audience by being entertaining. But I'm not a built-in person. I'm not a built-in fan of women's college basketball, and I will watch. I'm not watching WNBA. I can't. Number one, WNBA is on at a horrible time. They, they can't figure out when they want to be on, and they need to condense the season and be over with by football season because nobody's going to watch the finals or pay attention to it because it's on at a bad time. <laughs> That's just me.